Welcome to the channel about a healthy lifestyle. Our heart and blood vessels ensure the healthy function of all internal organs, which is why it is so important to take care of your cardiovascular system. Heart attacks, strokes, hypertension, and other heart diseases have become much younger, and the only way to keep yourself safe is to eat a healthy diet. In this video, you will learn about 6 superfoods for the heart and blood vessels. So, I advise you to watch the video to the end. Sea fish, preferably fatty varieties. Salmon and other fatty fish contain important polyunsaturated omega 3 fatty acids. They line the vessels from the inside out, making them elastic. When there is a clot in the blood or a rise in blood pressure, it is very important that the blood vessels be elastic and adjust to the situation, otherwise, they will start to crack and deform, and their permeability will increase which will lead to atherosclerotic plaques and blood clots. Adults are recommended to consume at least two portions of oily fish per week, serving size of about 120 grams. The only contraindication is an allergy to seafood. If it is not present, be sure to include fatty varieties of fish in the diet. It is proved that those people who consume large amounts of fatty fish during their lifetime have a much lower risk of developing myocardial infarction and in general live longer. Polyunsaturated fatty acids are also found in vegetable oils, nuts, seeds, and other foods. Two, nuts. Walnuts are better than all other nuts precisely because they have the most optimal omega-3 content. When we hear about omegas, we need to understand the following. There are omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9. Omega-9 is of little interest to us. We need to pay attention to the omega-3 and omega-6 in the product. So, omega-3 is useful. Omega-6 is not useful. We can't completely eliminate omega-6 because it's found in almost all vegetable fats. But what you have to do is look at the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. The optimal ratio is 1 to 4. That is, for every gram of omega-3, no more than 4 grams of omega-6. But for the average person who eats just intuitively, as they get it, that ratio is likely to be about 1 to 10, and that's not very healthy anymore. If you take for example avocado, which everybody praises so much, it has a ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 of 1 to 9, that's not very healthy. Although the sunflower oil is even worse, it's 1 to 300. So if we take walnuts, it has an omega-3 to omega-6 ratio of 1 to 4 the most optimal of all nuts. Moreover, it has a lot of vitamin E, a healthy antioxidant that is very good for the heart. Vitamin E is also called the vitamin of youth because of the way it acts on tissue. It is an antioxidant that is involved in cell regeneration processes. Vitamin E makes blood vessels elastic and strong, which reduces the risk of vascular atherosclerosis, thrombosis, and heart attack and also reduces blood cholesterol levels. Studies have shown that regular consumption of walnuts can reduce the risk of heart attack by 30-50%. Almonds 100 grams of almonds contains 59% of the daily allowance of magnesium. This trace element helps to relax the blood vessels and heart muscles. The fact is that magnesium is a calcium antagonist. These two trace elements work in tandem, providing important processes in the body. But you should always take care to balance them. Calcium is responsible for nerve excitement and muscle tension, while magnesium is responsible for a calm, relaxed state. And a balance of these trace elements is important for a normal heartbeat. Magnesium also helps normalize heart rhythm, lower blood pressure, and reduce the risk of thrombosis. Working as an anticoagulant, the trace element prevents the formation of clots and thinning of the blood. Also, magnesium is involved in the metabolism of collagen and elastin, which are responsible for the elasticity of vascular walls. Each day, you can eat 8 10 nuts, at one time or throughout the day. An overdose can lead to weight gain, tachycardia, and headaches. Apricots. 
Apricots are rich in another micronutrient valuable for heart health, potassium. It also relaxes blood vessels and the heart muscle. An apricot helps to reduce the frequency of cardiovascular contractions. Why is it important? At a heart rate of 9100 you can feel good. No one is arguing with that. But such a frantic pace of the heart for many days, months, and years leads to accelerated wear and tear of the organ. But at a measured 60-70 beats per minute you will prolong the health of your heart for several more years and reduce the likelihood of cardiovascular disease. During excitement and stress, in moments of great joy, and during sports cardio exercise, the heart should speed up its rhythm. It is normal. But after that, it should come to rest. To do this, eat 100 and 150 grams of apricots per day. About 7-10 pieces, by the way, there is another benefit of apricots. They contain iron and copper and help to increase hemoglobin and prevent the development of anemia, which is also very important for the entire cardiovascular system. You should give up apricots in several cases, for low blood pressure, bronchial asthma, and diarrhea. Broccoli. Broccoli is probably one of the healthiest vegetables we have on the shelves and should definitely be included in our diet, almost on a daily basis. Broccoli has a huge amount of vitamins and minerals, but what we are specifically interested in in this video is a substance like sulforaphane. It reduces the formation of atherosclerotic plaques. Also in broccoli is very high in fiber. Fiber helps reduce the risk of developing atherosclerosis, which means, Figuratively speaking cleans our blood vessels and improves our cholesterol profile, which is extremely it's good for the cardiovascular system. There is a lot of fiber in the bran, which is created from the outer, hard shell of the grain. To make sure you cover your need for fiber, you should add a handful of bran to your breakfast. Fiber enters the gastrointestinal tract, swells, absorbs harmful substances, cholesterol, and excess fats and removes it all from the body. Such a cleanse is necessary because otherwise it all gets absorbed into the blood and destroys the cardiovascular system. You should eat no more than 3-4 tablespoons of bran per day. They take a long time to digest, so the best time to eat it is breakfast. It is not recommended to eat bran in case of gastrointestinal diseases, and everyone else should watch the reaction of the body. If there was bloating, heaviness, or constipation, you need to reduce the daily dose of bran. Despite the fact that bran is quite heavy for digestion, it can do a lot of good to the intestines, and clean them. Five, fresh fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamin C, rosa ip. It can be consumed dried or fresh. In addition to its high vitamin C content, this berry is high in antioxidants with a high free radical absorption rate. Red bell peppers and chili peppers. This vegetable contains not only ascorbic acid in large quantities but also carotene, lycopene, and some other powerful antioxidants, thanks to which the risk of cancer is reduced. Currants. This berry, available to everyone, contains a lot of vitamin C. In addition, it has many vitamins of groups B, P, K, and A. It is also rich in pectin substances, essential oils, iron, potassium, phosphorus salts, and acid, kiwi. In addition to vitamin C, it also contains vitamins A, E, PP, starch, dietary fiber, and macro, and trace elements, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, chlorine, sulfur, iron, piodine, copper, manganese, fluorine. Nutritionists praise it for its antioxidants and unique enzymes. Kiwi contains zeaxanthin and lutein, which are good for the eyes. Thanks to the enzyme actinidin, it helps digest protein foods, while fiber and organic acids improve intestinal peristalsis and promote regular emptying. <laughs> Vitamin C is essential for strengthening the heart and blood vessels. How does it work? It is required for the synthesis of collagen. This protein is literally the building block of the walls of blood vessels. 
There is an interesting observation by scientist Linus Pauli, who calls sclerotic vascular damage a manifestation of lethargic scurvy, that is, a consequence of lack of vitamin C. Vitamin C also helps to remove excess cholesterol and normalize blood pressure. There was a study in which patients with high blood pressure gave up hypotensive drugs for a month, but took 500 mg of ascorbic acid daily. As a result, the average blood pressure dropped by more than 10 units. And one more fact about the benefits of vitamin C for the heart. The famous British magazine The Lancet published an article in which it was found that high levels of vitamin C in the blood reduced mortality from cardiovascular disease by 59 and 71 percent in women and men, respectively. Six. Garlic. Garlic also reduces the risk of atherosclerosis. Garlic also helps thin the blood and reduce viscosity, which is also important for the heart. Clinical studies have shown that taking garlic with lemon juice leads to the normalization of lipid, fibrinogen, and blood pressure levels in patients with hyperlipidemia. Short-term intake of garlic improves endothelial function. Garlic allicin reduces lipopolysaccharide-induced inflammation in the vascular endothelium. Experimental studies have shown that the intake of garlic has a vasorelaxant effect. By affecting the synthesis of nitric oxide, consumption of garlic prevents platelet aggregation and has an antithrombotic effect. It is important not to consume garlic in high doses, as it leads to arrhythmias. Garlic alum improves blood rheology and blood vessels and protects nerve tissue damage from ischemia. Regular use of garlic lowers blood pressure. Friends, write in the comments, which of these foods you eat, or maybe you can add any other healthy foods that are necessary to our diet. Share in the comments. It would be interesting. I also recommend you watch my other video, where I talk about foods that are bad for our hearts and blood vessels. Thank you for the likes, comments, and subscriptions. In the description of the video, you will find more useful information. All the best to you. I wish you health.